Hey, what's up, you guys? Um, so this is a really hard video for me to make, um, and I'm really scared, and um, and I never thought I would be making this <laughs> ever. Um, and I woke up this morning, and I just I just had to, and um, and I didn't want to turn on my like camera, my and my lights, and my I didn't want to do my hair. I just wanted to turn on my computer and talk to you guys because that's what I have done since 2008 when I started this channel, and um, and I I just want to be honest. And I'm making this video because I feel like it can help a lot of people. Um, over the last year. Um, I have been extremely sexually confused and um, I mean my whole life but this last year is when it really hit me and um, you know I always wished that I was gay that I was just a hundred percent gay for so many reasons you know number one that means I would know who I was Number two, it would be a lot easier for me to be accepted by people because, you know, I wear wigs and dresses on the internet and, and I'm feminine and, you know, all these things. And it'd be so much easier to be like, yeah, no, I'm gay. Um, but I'm not. I mean, I'm not completely gay. And I can't sit here and say that I am because that's not real. That's not genuine. But I also can't sit here and say that I'm straight. And... Um, and this is something that I've come to the conclusion through therapy and also just being honest with myself. I am bisexual. And um, I have said it out loud once before <laughs> uh, in therapy. And uh, I have never uh, really talked about it until now publicly. And the reason I'm talking about it is because there's a lot of coming out videos of people who are gay or lesbian or and they're so confident and they're like, you know, I've known since I was five, you know, I've always been gay. You know, the Ingrid video was fucking the best video I've ever seen. I loved it. But it made me cry because I'm not that. I don't know who I am a hundred percent. I and I know that a lot of you guys might feel the same way. When I was five um, I always had crushes on girls, but I also liked boys. And, um, and I told my family, and they were very religious, and I love my family, but that was not accepted. It was like, no, you can't do that. God will not accept that. Um, so I just shut it down, and I just repressed it, and, um, and, and I got real fat, and I ate all the feelings and I was morbidly obese and it was a way for me to create a shell around me so that nobody would look at me I didn't want guys I didn't want girls I didn't want anybody to ask me out I didn't want anything I didn't want to be kissed I just wanted to be fucking invisible and um, and I did that up until I was 18 you know when I was 400 pounds I had never been kissed never been on a date and then I lost all the weight, um, and then I started YouTube, and I became Shane Dawson, and I became the guy who everybody called gay, and um, and I was so defensive of it because I was like, no, that's I'm not gay, I'm not gay because when I was a kid, no, no, I, I that my, everybody told me it was wrong, and, I, and I'm not gay, so I would just kept repressing the feelings, and. Um, and then around 21, um, I had my first kiss, which is embarrassing that I was 21, but that's what happened. And it was with a girl. And I felt something. I felt butterflies. I felt the spark. I felt a connection. I felt love. And I was like, oh, I'm not gay at all. I'm straight. So I started dating girls. And um, I dated two, one for about a year, and, and this most recent one, Lisa, 
for about three and a half years. Um, but the whole time I had feelings that I wasn't dealing with. And I'd say the first year of my relationship with Lisa was the best year of my life. And I didn't even think about a guy at all. And then around the second year, I started feeling guilty and I started being attracted to guys as well. And I didn't tell her and I didn't tell anybody. And I started really hating myself and really being ashamed and scared. And, um, and I turned to an eating disorder and I turned to, you know, <laughs> They're just depression, and I just, I wrote a book called I Hate Myself. I just really went on a journey of self-hatred. And, um, and last year, I went to therapy, and I talked about it. And, um, and my therapist said, a lot of people are on a sexual spectrum. Not everybody is either gay or straight. And this is why I'm making this video, because I feel like a lot of you guys might be confused and scared and you're not talking to people about it, and I'm fucking here for you. And this is what she told me. A lot of people are on the spectrum. Some people are here in the straight world. Some are here in the gay world. Some are in the middle. Some are more gay than straight. Some are more straight than gay. But everybody's on a spectrum. And you need to just accept that you are somewhere in the middle. And you don't need a label. You don't need to figure out exactly who you are right now. You're 26. Just live your life. So, um, I didn't, I wasn't ready to tell anybody that I was feeling any of this. So, uh, I moved out and I told Lisa that I needed a break and, um, the relationship wasn't going amazingly anyways, cause I was so depressed and she was like, why are you so depressed all the time? And so I moved out and we were casually seeing each other for the next year. And through that year, I was going to therapy every week, and I was just trying to figure out who the fuck I was. And um, But I was still not doing that. I wasn't letting myself do that. And then two months ago, um, I sat down with Lisa, and um, I told her that I was very sexually confused, and it was the hardest thing I've ever done. And... Um, and uh, it was very sad because I didn't want her to think that I was gay and that I was hiding it from her and that I was using her as like a beard because that's what the whole internet probably thinks and I, I didn't want... I wished I was gay because that would be easier because I could just say, I'm sorry Lisa, I'm gay and I'm, I'm leaving, I'm going to be with the guy and, and I love you. Like that would be so much easier because it's like... But that's not what it was and... And I still am attracted to girls, but I have never faced that I'm also attracted to guys, and I needed to figure that shit out. And um, and she cried, and she hugged me, and um, she was amazing, and she uh, and she told me to go live my life and figure shit out and just be me. And um, and uh, and that's what I've been trying to do for the last couple months is just not be so hard on myself and um, and just be open to love whether it's a guy or a girl and just be open to it because I don't want to go my whole life closing it down and then when I'm like 65 like Bruce Jenner I ended up realizing what I like I don't want to do that um, more power to him he's amazing or she's amazing but I didn't want to do that because I want to live you know and I don't want to hate myself anymore. I don't want to be sad all the time. <laughs> and, um... <sighs> so, I started telling people this week. I told all my friends. I told my mom and my brother. And, and my mom was so supportive. And, you know, a lot has changed since I was a kid. That was back when religion was everything. And... <sighs> And it was, we had a hard child, I had a hard childhood, so it was all about Jesus and God and, and trying to get us through things. And now my mom is so much more open-minded and, and the world is so much more open-minded. And I haven't had one person in my life, you know, be mean about it. And Trish and Drew and, and all my friends have been so great. 
And now I'm just in a place where I don't know who I'm going to end up with. I don't know what my life is going to be, but I just want to be honest about it. And I don't want to lie. And I don't want, if I'm on a date with a guy and a fan comes up to me and takes a pic, I don't want it to be a thing. And I don't want people to be like, well, Shane has a secret gay life. Or I don't, I want to just be happy. And I want to love who I love, whether that's a guy or a girl. And I don't want to be guilty about it. And I don't, and I, I didn't want to make this video because I can't honestly say I'm gay. I can't honestly say I'm straight. But I can honestly say that I am open to love in any way. And I guess that makes me bisexual. And um, I don't know a lot of people make fun of bisexual people. I've made fun of them in the past, obviously projecting. Um, because people are like, oh, you're just gay. You're just, you're just in denial. It's like, well, I can't deny that I fall in love with girls. I can't deny that. I can't deny that when I meet, meet a girl and she's pretty and I, I get the butterflies and I just want to kiss her and I just want to, you know, do all those things. I can't deny that, you know? And just to get detailed for a minute, because fuck it, let's just be honest. I have had sex with girls and I have loved it. I lost my virginity when I was 23, I think, which is embarrassing. And it was one of the best moments of my life. And I loved it. And it didn't feel fake. I didn't feel like I was lying to her. It felt amazing. I have also done stuff with guys. And I think the thing is, I just, I just love people and I'm attracted to their heart and also I just like both genders and I don't want to feel bad about that. But I also don't want to label myself and, and just now, from now on, everybody's like, oh, Shane, the bisexual guy. Or like, I don't want to make a movie where I have a love interest who's a girl and then have all the people be like, oh, I don't believe it because he's bisexual. Like, and I don't want to make videos about it all the time. I, this is the last video I'm going to do where I talk about it because it's not me. I'm Shane. I'm a comedian. I'm a writer. I'm a director. I'm, I'm a YouTuber. I am a podcaster. I'm whatever the fuck I am. And I am bisexual. That does not define me. And if you are out there and you're confused and you haven't talked about it, you haven't told your friends and you, you feel scared, let me just tell you, the more that I've talked about it to my friends and to my family and to people in my life, the more I've realized that a lot of people feel this way. People you would never expect. A lot of people in my life have told me, I think I'm bi too, and I've never dealt with it. I've never, never tried it out. I've been too scared. And, uh, and if you're feeling that way, I'm here to tell you, who the fuck cares? Fuck it. Love who you want to love. Life is short. Nobody's going to hate you for it. God isn't going to hate you for it because God loves you. And if you don't believe in God, even better. <laughs> but if you do, like me, and you're scared and you don't want to piss him off and, and you don't want to go to hell and all those things, you just have to remember that God made you who you are for a fucking reason. I'm this way for a fucking reason. I can love multiple people for a reason. And I think that's why I am where I am today because I'm just so full of love. All right, that's my video. Um, I love you guys. I hope this helped. And um, and uh, from now on, you know everything about me. Oh, and that feels so fucking good because I feel like I've been hiding for so fucking long. So, I love you guys. And I will see you every day.